I'll introduce myself. I'm sure most of you know me. Uh, I am Pastor Kike Momo Turgen. I'm a co-pastor of the church with my husband, Pastor Philip Turgen. And this is Christ Wall International Church. And we are very grateful to God for our 15th year anniversary. Yeah. Amen. Amen. This is the fourth year in this sanctuary, which was dedicated March 2012. And this church, Christ Love, was founded 15 years ago in March 2001. And we thank God for being with us since then. When we started, the Lord told us always to celebrate our anniversary. And we have now celebrated 15 anniversaries. Hallelujah. 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 We thank God and give him all the glory. I'm sure we, without God, we won't be here today. Right. Yeah. What a mighty God Amen. is God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The God who can do the impossible. Amen. The God who can do all things. Yes. How we love him with all our hearts with all our souls, and with all our mind. Yes. I always say that the best thing that can happen to anybody in this world is to know the Lord. Amen. 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 And that's one of the reasons why we started this ministry, and also the reason why we go all over the world to let people know that God is alive. Yes. God is well and alive. Yes, and we want people to know him just as we have known him. So we've been like a messenger yes. to him, you know, traveling all over the world. We have been, you know, attacked, of course. You know, when you really stand for God, truly stand for God without compromise, you will surely be attacked. And not only that, we've been called names, but we refuse to be stopped because we know who got our back. We also like to thank all those who have been praying for this ministry and this church. We thank you all also for your support every year. Some of you have been supporting us financially and all with prayers. We are grateful to you. Without your support, it will have been very hard. So we thank God who made you know, us to be here to celebrate another 15 years. I mean, another 15th anniversary. Amen. And we are praying for many, many more years in Jesus' name. Amen. The church belongs to God, yes. not to the pastors. Amen. Some people always think the church belongs to the pastor. No church belongs to God. Yes. So we cannot stop anybody from joining us wherever they are. Even those who have left us for one reason or the other are always welcome with open arms. It has been tough and it has been rough, but the Lord is taking us higher and higher. Amen. He is the only one 
you know, we put our trust in. We don't put our trust in man. Man can fail you, but God never fails. God never fails. So we thank those who have been with us and who have remained with us. We would like to thank our brother Mitchell Jobs. testimonies of his greatness in this last 15 years. But time will not allow us to say it all. We thank God for one of my staff that gave a testimony when she was seriously sick. And she called me and said, the doctor told me I'm not going to make it. She said her CO2 was 135. And by the time your CO2 is 70, you, you are a dead person. And hers was almost double what it's supposed to be. They gave her oxygen, they put her in ICU, and still it's not coming down. So they told her she was going to die. And uh, even doctors, they will come to her room, all doctors coming to see her. How come this woman is still alive? Yeah. 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 And medical students, you know, as well. And uh, so she called me Saturday afternoon and she said, that doctor told me, they said I'm going to die. Uh, that the, my CO2 is 135. I said, whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe the doctor's report? Or you are going to believe God's report? I will believe God's report. And I said, do you know what God's report says? She said, yes. I said, well, God report said, by his stripes, I am healed. Amen. So by his stripes, you are healed. Amen. You know, God has told me he's going to heal you and he's going to heal you. Just believe that by his stripes, you are already healed. Amen. So no matter what the doctors say, when they come to your room and start saying negative, just turn your face away and don't listen to them. If they don't know what to do for you, just turn to God. Amen. And that's exactly what she did. They even told the children that their mother was going to die. The mother and the children refused to leave the hospital. You know, they stayed with her, thinking that she was going to die. So um, that Saturday, I prayed for her, and uh, she said, okay. But she just the same by his stripes. I won't listen to the doctors. And I prayed with her. And after she hung up the phone, I 
pray that the Lord she's holding this funny baby we have <laughs> in the clinic. <laughs> children need us. She's the only one her children also, you know, uh, have. And, um, and then on, uh, on uh, Sunday, she was taken to the regular floor. She got better. And on Monday, she was discharged. She said Tuesday, but it was Monday she was discharged. In, in, uh, and she called me on Monday and she said, uh, I've been discharged and I want to come to work on Wednesday. I said, Are you sure? She said, Yes, I'm healed. I'm coming to work. And she did come to work. What a mighty God. All we need to do is to believe with our whole heart, with our whole us so much. He loves us.